Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a great weekend. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. So if you're new, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you enjoy this reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgos. So let's get into this reading and see what is going on. And if you want to get a personal reading, uh, I do have an August special that I am running discounted for the month of August. So go check that out. And also, um, yeah, there's other goodies. Just one link right there in the bottom of the description box for you guys. Okay, so let's get into this. Okay, what's going on? Okay. Stabbed in the back. I like you and the runner okay virgo so you've got a situation here someone who likes you very much is in a lot of heartbreak and pain uh you might be in separation from this person and um this person wants to date you um they like you definitely you know there's a there's an opportunity i mean <laughs> Oh, that's, that's so bizarre. Okay, so you got someone here, Virgo, who like is pretty much very into you, wants to be with you, wants to date, have romance. but feel stabbed in the back or is some I guess you guys must be in separation or something and they're running they have this they have a fear this person is fearing that you're going to hurt them they have a, they have a, they like you a real lot but they have a fear that you're that's it they have a fear that you're going to hurt them or you're going to lie to them or you know be deceptive or you're going to abandon them or separate you know separate yourself gosh this is crazy so they run so i mean it's like i feel like perhaps you this person just doesn't want to get real close they, like they they're they're fearful of getting super super close fear of you finding out what's behind the mask um or anything along those lines you know like but i feel like this person wants to be with you they just have this great fear of being stabbed in the back. So they keep a distance. They might be a bit avoidant. So they keep their distance. Okay. They, they, they keep things surface. Yeah, I like you. Yeah, I'll date you. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I really, I love flirting with you. It's fun. I, I'll, you know, we can go on dates. We can do things. But if you get too close, I'm going to run. Okay. My ego calls, um, you know, uh, to save me save myself from being hurt or being lied to okay so you yeah it looks like this person is very avoidant okay so they've got ten of cups okay craziness ten of cups four of swords reversed three of pen three of cups reversed the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. Okay, so uh, as far as court cards, Virgo, it looks like this is a fire sign or they have fire in their chart somewhere, okay? This person has all the confidence in the world to text, to send sweet nothings, keep things very, you know, the page is very simple. It's a very simple, you know, it's 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 intuitive messages, it's curi curiosity, um, a dreamer this is someone that's very flirtatious very it's very easy to be that way and they might flirtate fl they might flirtate <laughs> i'm making up words they flirtate with you on um text messages or maybe phone calls but like it's it's something that i feel like this person has a lot of confidence in themselves to send texts okay that's just such a send sweet nothings and say all of the sweet nice things to you through text instead of like to your face 
okay but this person is restless and they're reckless and with the four of swords in the reverse and the three of cups in the reverse this person has this reckless need to keep themselves in a safe space if they don't get too close they can keep dating other people and they keep all of their relationships very surface they're not serious about anyone they get serious with no one however i feel like for some of you i can't pick up my card for some of you i feel like this person really did have good intention to go the distance with you personally they i don't see that they had that intention with anybody else here uh, or that they have that with anybody else they run when things get it looks like it's heading in this direction the ten of cups which is like divine love and harmony in a blissful beautiful relationship you know dreams coming true and all that and it feels like as soon as it gets close to that then they run and then they go out and they get real reckless with their energy and they start dating other people it's almost as if they try to it does it's something with their ego because they have a fear of getting close because and it's not a it's not a fear of getting close it's a fear of getting close and then being abandoned or stabbed in the back <clears throat> it's like they say you know what you what you speak out into the universe is what you get back so i feel like so as soon as you guys get close or things start going in that nice direction which i which is what i do feel like this person wanted then they run and then they're like no no i can't i can't be committed i have to stay single and i have to keep up this restless reckless energy and date other people or communicate or flirt um and that kind of thing okay it's it stresses them out why do they have this like why why does this person like what are they afraid of what are they afraid of so they keep everything on just a very surface level what are they afraid of oh <laughs> unity partnership marriage um gosh just hold on i'm getting some messages i mean okay they just said um one thing they're afraid of is that you'll reject them and say no i just want to be friends which is what they're making happen anyway it's bizarre so what else is tell me more about this two of cups they're they're afraid of losing autonomy uh, this might be someone who is a bachelorette or a bachelor they've been single most of their lives or a long time they they don't know what to do uh, how to share maybe they're an only child or the baby of the family spoiled <laughs> yeah so they, they breadcrumb they give these breadcrumbs and they do this to you and they do this to others okay this is a this person is an island unto themselves completely an island unto themselves however virgo with you it was a little bit different and i have to i have to give that message okay with you something different here's the king of cups too you uh they got into their emotions they got into the feels with you virgo absolutely you you turn this some of you turn this player into a feeler okay and they ran from that you know you got them all caught up in their emotions virgo whatever it is that you did or however it is that you are with this person okay king cups so we do have two court cards now so you know your person could be um very emotional sensitive cancer scorpio pisces could be aquarius uh, emotional sensitive and then you guys get real close and then they turn into this king of wands energy where they're just like you know sag leo aries doing things on my own uh, 
competitive, overly confident, that kind of thing. So it's, it went either way. Either way, though, this person got caught up in their emotions about you. And that right there scared them. They, they actually felt real feelings for you. And they, didn't, they knew that if they were to oblige those feelings, that it could go you know, from the Page of Cups to the Two of Cups and all the way down to the Ten and a happily ever after. And they ran. Let's see. Tell me more about why this person ran. Why did this person run? Oh, gosh. Ten of swords. Again, fear of being stabbed in the back. Fear of being betrayed. Fear of losing you. So they had to purposely get rid of you so that they didn't lose you either to somebody else or so that you wouldn't reject them. It's a control thing. It's a control thing, control issue. Okay. They put their dukes up. They put themselves like in a protective shield and say, I'm going to get rid of you before you get rid of me. Okay. I'm not going to be defeated. I'm going to keep myself avoidant and keep everything surface. That way I can't get hurt, you know? But the thing is, right, um, this person might have gone deep in the past with someone and they got really hurt, betrayed by that. And they haven't healed from that. They have not, not really. They, they may have just kind of kept things surface with that former person, um, try to just be on even keel ground with that former person, maybe just be friendly or friends. But the, the deep internal, it's obvious here that they have not healed because love should never be scary. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a risk, but love conquers fear. That, 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 the only thing that conquers fear is love and joy and happiness and peace. So this person is fear-based. So there's this, you know, we operate out of one of two, two ways. We either operate out of fear or we operate out of love. This person operates out of fear. Okay, yeah. So the Queen of Cups is here. Okay, so this somebody that they had deep feelings for before. Could be a Gemini, Cancer, uh, a Scorpio, a Pisces, could be a Leo, Aries, Sag. Um, and that other person, I feel like the other person, uh, let me see, because they're coming across this, yeah, the other person left. The other person left them, transitioned, left them behind, moved on with their lives. Something happened, I don't know what. I guess I could ask, what happened? Why did there, a past person leave this person, your person? Or if you don't know them, soon to know person. They wanted progress. They wanted something to move forward. Or they left home. Or they had um, different plans other ideas, what they wanted for their life. And I guess this, their person, the yours here that we're talking about, wasn't able to um, meet them and they had a decision to make which path they wanted to, to go down. And it looks like they left them behind and, and changed their life and moved on. And uh, yeah, I think your, your person felt abandoned and left out in the cold here. Okay, I say your person. Now, if this isn't your person, this could be somebody that you will meet and this energy starts playing out, you know, because sometimes they can be predictive readings and we're looking into August now. So, yeah, I feel like this person, um, they have that poverty mindset and codependency issues, definitely. I mean, this they were abandoned by someone I feel like they had a true, you know, feeling for or or maybe your your person left them but I, I don't really feel like that's for some it could be the the case but I don't really feel like that is the case because I don't 
I just see them in runner mode. If you're in, if you so if you know this person, you're in separation with this person right now. Um, they're running and they're flirting and they're doing whatever they're they're keeping everything at um, arm's length. They're keeping everyone at arm's length. They're they're being present and available to others, but they are they're not crossing a line. Um, only not because of you, Virgo, and I, I hate to not to unblow your ego, not so much because of you, but because they are very avoidant. And that's the, the very reason why something didn't go forward with you. Okay. Um, and that's, this is the the meat of the reading here. I feel like this person um, really did develop deep feelings for you and, and um, was seeing the path forward to progress with you okay um now maybe you left them you might have left them maybe you betrayed them or you abandoned them because they were a runner and they were avoidant and they weren't really going in the direction you wanted to go i feel like this cycle keeps repeating this this person is the common denominator in why their relationships are failing it's not you virgo you're just a a helpless victim of this person because of their avoidance and their um, inability to to get secure within themselves emotionally. So you might you might have left this person and they felt stabbed in the back. They still though want to date you. Uh, they still want something with you, but it's like their cycle keeps re repeating. It just keeps repeating, and I feel like. You spent a long time with this person here in this Three of Cups reversed as well, um, where they were very restless to connect with you a lot, um, but not go any further than that. But something did happen here with this person that you were able to get into their feels, and you were someone that they considered that they could see a future with. Now tell Virgo, this feels like the backstory. Let's see what the present energy is right now with this person. Okay. Right now this person is with the Seven of Pentacles. So they're doing a lot of thinking. Um, they're asking questions. They're looking at themselves. They're looking at Sorry guys, I got new pointy nails and I can't pick anything up. I'll be changing that this week. Um, so they're taking a look at all that accumulated in the relationship with you. They're looking at that right now, okay? This is the Seven of Pentacles. The card after this is the Eight of Pentacles, which represents putting in the effort. And so they're in this place now. Can I do this? They're questioning themselves. If, if Virgo will take me back. I, I don't even know if they're considering that at this time. I, 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 if you, Whether you will or not, I feel like this person is kind of just looking at the relationship, looking at the time gone by, looking at everything that was invested, and asking themselves if they have the ability to go long term with you okay that's their current energy yeah oh yeah they're definitely you're on their mind for sure virgo and what are they thinking about well they're thinking about how nurturing of a person you were to them how smart how hard you worked as a parent, even if you were a single parent. Um, this could have been someone that you were married to or long term. Um, and they're looking at the, the they're looking <laughs> at the practical side of you, right? That the practical, um, how you uh, Virgo, let me explain. Virgo, you you carry the pentacle. The pentacle is with you always. You're oh, you are the pentacle. This person does not walk with a pentacle. See how the pentacle is not attached to them.
<clears throat> they're looking at how much you contributed to this relationship here. They're looking at it. They're looking back on it for sure. Your worth, your value, how much you invested, time, energy, effort. And you're the one who's bringing... <laughs> you're the one, Virgo, who's bringing that Eighth Pentacle. You got it right here. And what is that Eighth Pentacle? They know that what you want is for them to put in the effort, make the effort. They know that. And that's why they're... And you might have handed it to them. And they're sitting there with it like, hmm, I don't know. Can I do this? Let me see. What else? Okay. Do I have the courage and the strength to persevere? <laughs> For some of you, this is a same-sex relationship. They're thinking. Of, they're thinking back on that past person as well. They're comparing. Their past person was very strong and courageous and persuasive. Past person had a subtle power, okay, for sure, over them. A zest for life, very confident. But you're different in many ways. You're a, you're a realist. You keep things real. You're grounded. You're not tracing, uh, blazing trails of fire. You're very grounded and considerate and thoughtful. But some of you might be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo here as well. Uh, some of you embody both of those signs. May, or you could have Leo in your chart somewhere. Leo rising. Uh, moon, Venus, somewhere in your chart. But you embody both. And they're thinking about you. That you have the courage and the power and that you're a strong person. And that you are very focused and determined. But you're also quite nurturing and smart and hardworking. And I really feel like this person is considering all of the attributes that you bring. And they're having a breakthrough. I feel like this person is has emotional avoidance. I don't feel like they are avoidant in the sense of you know, if they had to work a partnership with someone, they can do that. You know, if it's tied to money or finances or career, they're good with that. But when it comes to the emotions, see how this person isn't really even considering how you feel about them and how they feel about you. This person's more in a very practical standpoint. The emotion, the emotional connection they run, they run from because that's too overwhelming for them. And that's why they ran, because you touched their heart, their feelings. You made them feel. And this person is, seems to be very heady. But you, um, you made them feel some type of way, Virgo. And, and that got that scary for them. Okay? So the present energy right now, like, uh, I feel like they're trying to overcome some obstacles here. Um, Look at that. Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. See how they don't even have any cups here as far as thinking about you? Doesn't mean they didn't care for you. Absolutely not. But I feel like they're looking at, like, how can this work? How's our communication? Um, what potential growth can we have in this relationship? Virgo, I feel like to be with this person, you can't affect their feelings. <laughs> you got to keep it strictly business. Because I don't feel like this person really operates. They're loyal. They, they, I feel like they're to you, um, even though it doesn't seem like it because they ran um, and they got scared. But um, I feel like their loyalty to you in their heart doesn't compare to anyone. Like you're the, you're the it girl, you're the it guy for them, okay? You turn them on, they know that for sure. Look, the Ace of Pentacles. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, everything that they're thinking about right now, currently about you, is that everything can work. 
the mental connection, the physical connection, and any kind of finances, financial connection. Everything there can work. But they have such a great fear of their heart being broken. Well, it's crazy because I don't feel like the heart ever healed. So I feel like they walk around with a broken heart. That's why they run. That's why they avoid. You know, it's not like you can break their heart. You know, it, it's trying to like, you know, if you, you drop a plate and the plate's broken and then you pick up the plate, you, you can't really break it again. It's already been broken. So they're also considering that as well. Okay. So I, I feel like right in, especially in August, Virgo, and happy birthday to the early August birthdays, this person seriously has a thing for you here. And they definitely are considering a brand new, well, coming back your way and, and maybe trying again. Um, let me see what your advice is here. Because there is going to be communication in August from this person. For some of you, I'm hearing August 31st. And they've been thinking about you since July 3rd. They've had you on their mind. Okay. What was I asking? I forget. Oh, your advice. <laughs> keep it simple in your communication with them if you wish to talk to them um, talk about only the practical things don't talk about feelings don't ask them how they feel don't ask them if they love you don't ask them don't talk about the emotions at all um, just keep it strictly <laughs> this is your advice not the advice I would give you although I probably would give you this advice Ask them how work's going. Ask them if, you know, how, if they got that bill paid or how they're doing with their money. Speak strictly on that. That's the language that this person understands. And for you ladies, now listen, don't give me a hard time. Because, listen, I raised three sons. Believe me when I tell you, okay? And I know some of you will understand this. No matter how much love and emotion and acceptance and unconditional love I gave my kids, my boys, they still would never and could never and still don't come as close to a female as far as emotions go. And they had everything that they needed, at least from my standpoint. But when I sit and I talk with my sons about what games they're into right now, how work's going, um, you know, very normal, not normal, I don't want to normalize it, but um, just like how the, how's the car running, you know, uh, everyday kind of things. They're like, their mouths keep going. And then when I tell them how great they are and how awesome they are, they get a little twinkle in their eye, you know, because they love to hear that. But as soon as I sit down and I'm like, how are you feeling? They're like, I don't know, play my game. Can I talk to you later? That that's, I that's, that's the male side, not all males, but majority. It's so hard, I think, to try to ask a guy how he's feeling, because a lot of times the guys are just not even sure. Like they're like, "Wait, I'm not even in my feels right now. I'm gonna have to get back to you because I don't know, because right now I'm watching football." You know, it's it's a little bit like that, and th and that's maybe that's more of the masculines. But two of my sons are are not alpha males, and they don't really get into it too much. You know, so I feel like I don't know why I'm telling you this, but maybe just because. If you, if you start talking about, you know, the whole love thing, and getting into the deep emotion with this person, uh, I f they, they're avoidant in that area. And that you have to kind of go real tread lightly in that area with this person, okay? Um, so, yeah, talking about financial opportunities, their ambitions, things that they're creating and developing, their uh, ideas for projects or plans and things like that and, and listen that doesn't mean to be that way the entire time in the relationship I just feel like if if they're going to come back and it looks like they want to because everything about you they love um your advice is to um have those conversations about your accomplishments theirs come in with this positive energy everything's good talk about the successes and celebration and uh you know attainments travel all of that all of that stuff okay this this is what i'm getting for your advice now i want to see if you do that if you make that decision 
and you're just like, okay, this person's real super sensitive and they're blocked in their emotion. They have their heart, heartache and heartbreak. And, you know, I'm just going to keep it real cool and try to understand that and not really go deep with the emotions and catch, you know, try to talk about if they love you and all those feelings. Because I already told you that they do. They have that deep, that deep, deep, very, very deep emotions and feelings for you. But like, you know, the King of Cups does not wear the heart on the sleeve. The King of Cups has got those emotions deeply hidden. Uh, let's see the outcome. If you, you know, you go that way. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's funny. Five of Cups. The outcome is this person is going to, they are going to reveal some emotion and that they deeply regret holding back. See, if you, if you, if you have a ball and you stand outside in the grass with the dog, your dog, anybody's dog, your friend's dog, I don't care whose dog, when you hold on to that ball and not let that dog have that ball, he stands there very patiently or even comes and tries to get it, right? When you throw it, he chases it. But when he comes back, if you try to take that ball from him, oh, it's game on. So the point I'm trying to make here is Hold the ball, Virgo. Don't chase after the ball. Hold the ball. Okay? Let this person come to you with how they feel. And in you in holding this ball, and this requires a lot of tact, a lot of patience, a lot of perseverance to create a safe space for a long-term secure relationship with this person who is, you know, heavily scarred from something, someone who left them. It could have been a mother. It could have been, you know, um, a, a, a relationship, someone who loved them. I mean, whoever this person was significant to them, there's definitely that person left them and there was something ended. Um, they will open up and tell you that they've missed you. So you'll get a little bit of feeling out of them. They regret, you know, um, blocking They regret uh, reserving their feelings, reserving their feelings and not sharing or anything, even just a little. And they come in freeing themselves to have these conversations with you, to talk with you about this stuff, okay? So they, they, they take that risk here, the outcome for both of you, to go into the Four of Wands to go into like definitely re re having a reunion um, coming home for some of you building a home together moving in together um, starting this built rebuilding or building this foundation for that but something more practical I feel like I know a lot of Virgos are not all up in their emotions I know in fact I think a lot of Virgos are pretty much reserve themselves but a Virgo can offer them their emotions up to another person if they feel like the other person is more garden, guarded than they are okay because um, normally Virgos don't walk around with their hearts on their sleeves either okay so it looks like a happy <laughs> there you go that's what it looks like it, it there's you have four aces in this reading Okay, you you and they have a, a potential new uh, healing energy happening here in this relationship, and it's beautiful. So you know you gotta be you gotta be patient. I feel like that's the message here. Um, as far as if you're constantly asking this person how they feel, if they love you, if you're constantly needing that reassurance, um, you know, love can be shown in a lot of different ways not just by words although it is good to hear it sometimes everybody does need to hear it and that goes both ways i feel like there's a potential new start and you guys remember i keep saying we're in this venus retrograde you are heavily on this person's mind during this retrograde definitely like they're rethinking a lot of things um i don't know that they're having oops i don't know that they're having a wake-up call per se but they are definitely thinking about you. Um, everything, you know, them kind of like 
putting themselves out there with the three of cups you know um, being restless and reckless out there with the three of cups has not served them because nothing compares to you that's timely isn't it <laughs> all right let's see what the romance angels okay so there's a new love start happening here definitely new love start happening what else for virgo okay there you go virgo there you go there's a call you're gonna get a phone call and then you've got wedding okay virgo your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together you know if you don't want this person back virgo the best thing I could say is pray for healing for them so that they will be happy elsewhere, that they have the healing that they need. Um, that frees you from things as well. Um, if you do want them back, um, I feel like the advice that I'm giving you, I, you don't have to be like um, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin here. You don't have to be that way. Um, you know, you can you can tell them that you miss them or that you love them. You can say those things. I'm sure they, I, I know they would love to hear it, but I feel like don't dive into. But what about our relationship? Where have you been? Are you going to commit or what? Because I'm not talking to you unless you do. You know, like try not to be too hard edged. Just chill, Virgo. Just chill. You know, um, it's kind of it's a it's a restart. It's kind of a start over here. At least the week of August 31st. That's what I'm picking up. And if you want this thing to work, you know, nobody's telling you you got to open your legs, Virgo. But if you want something here to work, I just get a sense of like, just try to keep it cool. For you, for this per with this person, you know, the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards, all right? My biological clock is ticking. And I want to know, when are we going to get married? <laughs> all my friends are getting married. <laughs> my niece got married before me. My clock is ticking and I want to have a baby. <laughs> Does anybody know what that's from? I, I paraphrase because I don't remember exactly what she said, her exact words. All right, let's get some love messages here and see what else is going on for you guys. Okay, messages of love. All right, all right. There's the children card. <laughs> For some of you, children are important to this relationship. You know, not every person, um, especially for the ladies, not every guy is coming in on a, a like a Prince Charming, a knight in white, shining armor. You know, it doesn't. That's fairy tale. Let's get out of the fairy tale. Lean on your inner support circle during this time. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Um, with this person making their return, I don't. Don't give so much. You know what I mean? Don't don't be too, like you might be excited to hear from them if you're the, the person listening that wants this relationship to progress and heal. Um, and I'm not saying don't be excited, but I feel like give this create space for this person to come to you, you know, instead of holding up the relationship yourself and trying to make something work here and you doing the work for them and doing the work for yourself. No, let them help build this house. You have to allow that to happen, right? And that's what that support is, right? The, the foundation needs to be poured. The support beams need to be uh, designed, the structure you can't do it all by yourself okay i knew that was going to come out i knew it a lot of the venus retrograde is all about the twin flame okay um now just remember this might not be happening right now for some of you it could be for others this is an energy that begins occurring um throughout the retrograde and into august Okay, so what does that mean? What this person is thinking about returning, reaching out, uh, seeing if you're still interested because they still want to date you. They still want to be a part of your life. And they, they do deeply, like inherently want something happily ever after. You know, they do love you. Um, but they're not going to come in that way. And I mean, I do feel like they'll tell you that they miss you and that they regret holding back. They're hoping that you will be 
willing to at least give them a chance to either explain or to talk and to see if there's a possibility unless you've completely like you're done and you've blocked this then they're going to hit a brick wall okay and then there's no more reading after that then it's just you moving forward with your life okay so i feel like this is mostly for people here virgos who are wanting to give this another chance okay um I want to see what this person's hidden hidden truth messages are for you, Virgos. What is this person's hidden truth message? If they could tell you the timing just wasn't right, they might have thought that, and maybe, but they'll wait for a sign from you. I do feel like this person is kind of waiting some kind of for a door to open somewhere so that they can come in and talk to you. I have a I have a strong feeling about that. There you go. You are the best thing in my life. So Virgo, I don't feel like anybody came closer than you. And anyone that might have come close to them, similar to you, I feel like was a very, very long time ago. And, and that person, whoever they were close to, um, abandoned them or, you know, like I said, turned on their heel and went in a different direction. Okay. They do wonder if you're happy without them. They do think about you. And they wonder how you're doing. And what's going on with you? Wow. I mean, seriously. You are heavily on this person's mind during this retrograde. I replay our conversations over and over. They think about all that was invested, the times together. Remember I said that? Everything involved in the time you were together and the conversations especially. Because I feel like, as I said from the beginning, this person was... And I know it's specific, and it might not be for all of you, but this person was big on the texting. Like the majority of the conversations might have happened through text, or that's how they preferred it, um, because they were avoidant, so kind of hiding. Um, now, for some of you, there could have been one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, and those are the conversations that they replay over in, over in their head, the things that they think about what you said. They analyze them. So this person is very mindful, like heady, you know, they're very analytical and trying to figure out what you meant by that or what you didn't or why you didn't say this and why you reacted like that. And, you know, uh, kind of like going through or they're rereading texts and like, what does that even mean? You know, but they did hide who they really are from you. Absolutely. And who was that? Someone who was afraid to get close. <laughs> Just being near you is intoxicating, <laughs> Virgo. This person, oh my gosh. You really did a number on this person's heart. I mean, not bad way. Um, I feel like this person, um, when, when they're near you, um, they act a fool, like they're they, like a drunk fool, drunk in love. Um, they act stupid. They don't. They have no. They have no sense about them. They can't make heads or tails of what they're talking about or what they're saying or where they're going. They get so nervous that they run. And I don't know that they do that with everybody, like like their friends and family. I think they're pretty open and everything's cool, but that's friends and family. This is the the feeling made them so nervous and it overcame them. They're overcome with intoxication. Your scent, um, just looking at you, um, hearing you, everything enveloped them and, and they felt like they were going to drown because he was just so, uh, like a shark rolls his eyes in the back of his head when he bites down on a piece of meat, you know? <laughs> this person lays at night thinking about you. They dream about you. What? Virgo, who is this? What have you done? Well, you know, Virgos Virgos have that way. Yes, sir, Bob. Virgos have that way. They have that effect on people. Okay. Let's take a look and see. We're going to get right into the Chinese signs because I'm just curious what this person's Chinese sign is. And yours, both of you. All right, let's get right to it and do it. We got the goat 
and the ox, the rat, you got a snake, rooster, there's the ox again, rat again, I'm not going to put that down, snake again, oh my goodness, a horse, and a dog. Okay. All right. Leave that there. Let's get into the rest of these messages and then we're going to call it a night. I'm going to go have dinner with my mom. I'm actually bringing dinner to her. So, okay. Hold on you guys. Okay. Somebody lives in building Q10. Or somebody takes CoQ10. That's what they just said. Okay. We have... Um, I just heard the name Jolene. Or, or Joe. Jolene or Joe. Okay. September 5th, September 10th. Someone is 51. Um, and I see someone eating an apple. Oh. Someone. Uh, <laughs> I, see, I see an old lady getting her hair washed. Or someone's rubbing her head or washing her hair. Someone might be a... Um, a hairstylist or work in cosmetology as well. I, or maybe you do somebody's uh, head massage or something or doing something with somebody's head. I mean, <coughs> we'll save that for the OnlyFans. But seeing an old old lady and someone checking on her head, looking at her head, rubbing her head, trying to relieve her of a headache or a migraine or, yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, family party. Um I see, um, I see a mother and a father, and I see a pregnant woman with a little child and a husband. So it's like a family day out. I see the like the husband talking with the older, the elder father, and I see the grandmother playing with the child, and I see the mother with a child. So there's some kind of party or family event of some sort in August. Where someone's having a baby. Okay. Someone is 58. Or born in 58. Or 51 or born in 51. Okay. So we have the initial. H. We have an S. There's a P. There's a C. The letter V. There's an O. Okay. They just said, follow the yellow brick road. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you're watching that. That's an oldie. A lot of reading. Somebody's reading. Uh, sitting by a pool reading or on the beach. Or just sitting out on a, a porch reading. Lots of books to get through. Okay. And I'm seeing like a, a, a big, um, like a maple, Chinese maple bush. It's red. It's huge. Like I think it's called a Chinese maple or a Japanese maple. Uh, it's like a bush. Okay. I'm going to leave those there. That's very interesting. Let's get your, should we do numbers? I did the numbers already. We're just going to skip right to the charms because the charms are the best. What do we have here? All right, you guys, for real. Two of hearts, two hearts that beat as one. Yep, you've got two hearts that are entwined. Now, somebody might have a necklace that looks has that charm on it, but I feel like um, this person wants to, like, somebody wants to walk with someone. 
um, arm in arm, hand in hand. This is really cute. I love this. I might just steal this and put it on like a chain. Two hearts. You two. There's two people here who are meant to be together. Arm in arm, hand in hand. And you also have a diamond. Okay, Virgo. Um, somebody might have a nickname diamond, but there's something here to do with, uh, you could, it's a gem, a true gem. Somebody could be getting a diamond. That, that's no other, that's no other, uh, that's a diamond. Somebody could be getting a diamond as a gift around their birthday, a birthday gift could be a proposal for sure, but it feels, feels like a gift of some sort. All right, hold on. I want to dig down and get something I haven't gotten before. Oh, okay. Hearing hello kitty. Now somebody might have a, a, a kitty, a purring kitty, or someone's thinking about somebody's kitty. And there's also a star. And that feels like a pinnacle to me. So that's really a strong message that this is your reading, but it's a black star. So I don't know if the black star holds any value to you in some way or means something to you. Maybe somebody has a black cat whose name is Star. Could be. Okay. And they said just one more. Oh. Okay. So you have a ribbon in remembrance. So there might have been somebody that passed away um, from a disease that... Um, there's a ribbon. You might, maybe you wear a ribbon connected to someone who passed away. Um, I feel like whoever it is is watching over you. They're guiding you. Um, somebody might just be wearing a ribbon in remembrance for someone or just remembrance in a collective way as well. Um, this also support. Somebody might have had breast cancer or some type of cancer. There's support as well. And also maybe an autism ribbon, I'm hearing. Hmm. And then I'm just hearing, keep your legs closed, Virgo. Keep them legs closed. <laughs> I don't know why I need to say that, but that's what came out to me. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, we're giving Steve-O a break from all the numbers tonight. He's getting a little break. So I will see you guys back here on Monday evening. And again, I have reduced all of my links. There is just one link in the description box below to get personal readings and everything else. Just click that link. That will take you to my link tree. And there's a whole list of everything I offer. And um, you can check it all out everything that you need or want from me, any questions you have, everything is there. And yeah, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope again that you had a great weekend. Please love yourselves, love others, be at peace, be happy, make good choices, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.